Hello and welcome to Once More With Feeling. This is your opportunity. The debut EP from progressive metalcore multi-instrumentalist Mitchell Mantell. Now this was a bit of an unexpected joy for me because this was a request from the clean vocalist of the project, Joshua Ratcliffe. I already have to say thank you for giving me this opportunity, appropriately enough, to cover something that I might not necessarily have encountered otherwise. Um, I, I was found through the last review, which I, I also have to say thank you, Lord, for posting about my review, because I'm, I probably wouldn't have been asked to do this if not for that. But yeah, so this is admittedly a bit out of my wheelhouse. I've never been that much inclined to metalcore, typically. Um, most metalcore just doesn't quite jive with me. However, apparently, apparently, if you throw in prog elements... I'm over it like Yogi Bear on picnic baskets. Yeah, I, I really enjoyed this. Um, this is going to be a bit of a shorter one because there's only four tracks on the EP and one of them is a one minute instrumental. First things first, I do want to list the personnel on the album. I also want to go through the personnel on this EP. You've got Mitchell Mantell doing most of the instrumentation um, with odd exceptions. Um, You've got Trey Pruitt, who is doing the growls and screams, and you've got Joshua Ratcliffe, who's doing the clean vocals. You've also got Reese Aquilina on bass on In The Wind, and you've got Jared Johnson on guitars on Reflections. So, yeah, let's get right into it. Uh, this opens with Lost. That really does well for just sort of setting the stage and making this EP feel big. It's got a very rounded, sort of bombastic sound. You can almost imagine it being sort of... You can imagine it being used for a fantasy epic, you know, Lord of the Rings style, uh, travelling through the mountains kind of deal. It's got the pipes and the big drums. It really helps to sort of set the stage to give the idea that this is going to be something a bit different and a bit new and just really giving you a, yeah, we want you to listen kind of feel. And it flows very nicely into In The Wind. Now, uh, In The Wind is very good with sort of, it's got very nice chunky guitar drum work sound. Uh, there's also this interesting sort of switch up with the time signatures which puts me in mind of bands like Meshuggah who generally like to sort of screw around with the time signatures and I'm definitely, if that is intentional then definitely not, in not complaining. If not, well that's just a happy accident. The one complaint I would have about the song is I feel it goes a bit too full force into the harsher vocals on the off. I feel like it could have done with a bit more of a build up to work closer with how the instrumentation is because running throughout this EP there is this feel that the instrumentation and the vocals are kind of having a conversation with each other like they're there's almost this question-answer feel to them. So I feel like it would have done better with having a, more of a smooth build-up to the harsher vocals. Also, I feel like that could be that it could have done with a better build-up. It could be that um, the production could have done with a bit of TLC. Um, it's not terrible production, it's just it could have done with a bit of tweaking. There's at times where it sounds a bit muddy on the vocals. With that said, I still greatly enjoyed the song. It's definitely one I'll go back to, um, especially as there's various things that you pick up on on repeated listens. Like, you'll notice, like, 
the change up in time signatures initially I, it felt like it was just a bit of a oh let's see how we can do the change ups but there is a very deliberate intent to how they're changed up definitely one that whilst it is probably the weakest of the three songs I'm not going it's unfair to include in the intro because the in Lost and In The Wind, which they actually do a very clever callback. That is, um, they use that title in the progression of the lyrics, so that was, I liked that touch. Um, I would just say that you could do... That one needed a bit more... Just a little bit of tweaking in the production. Nothing major, just um, it's kind of a bit of poop bullish. Next, you've got Reflections, which pretty much <laughs> it's quite funny. All my complaint, the few few complaints I have from In the Wind are completely righted and improved upon in Reflections. Um, that one. That resonated quite a bit with me because um, it's basically it's the message of the only one that can truly stand in your way is yourself and I have frequently had to contend with that issue of being my own worst enemy so sort of dealing with you know the amount of times I'm able to put out videos and feeling up to doing so um, with my wrestling career, how often I find myself disheartened and regressing with it. Um, with my writing, everything like that. And it definitely resonated with me in a sort of... It felt encouraging. I'm stumbling over my words here. Basically, Reflections, I would, of the track, that is my favourite, simply for the message that, um, you know, it says about you've already overcome so much. I can't help but really, re it really resonates with me, and I, that's the one that I would go back to most. In fact, it probably has a higher play count than the other three tracks. Finally, you've got This Is Your Opportunity. Um, overall, that is, that is the driving sentiment of the EP, is you've only got one chance at life. You've only got so many opportunities, so you've got to grab them as they come. And that really resonated... I keep saying the word resonated, but it's very difficult not to say, because that's another reason why this EP, I, I was more drawn to it, because I found I could very much relate to the sentiments of it. Um, but yeah, this is your opportunity really struck home for me, because... As I say, it's the centrepiece for the EP, it's it's the driving message. It is saying that you've got to grab the opportunities as they come. And it didn't just strike a chord because of the fact that I was able to think of it from the perspective of how I try my best to grab opportunities as they come. This very review as a key example, but also how I've encountered so many people, friends, family, all that sort of thing, who they'll get presented opportunities, or they'll try to make opportunities for themselves, but for whatever reason, they'll lose faith in it and then just completely give up. Um, there's one particular per former friend who um, they would frequently say, up. Uh, say about starting up a business and starting up our own company and all that sort of thing but nothing would ever come of it another way it resonated is that 
my friend Richard, uh, who's been on here a few times, he recently quit his job uh, so that he could pursue everything that he wants to, like, um, both for his mental health and also just f wanting to be able to do things like sort out a baking company and everything like that. Um, and it, it's all for compare and contrast. It's like, on the one hand, you've got one person who they keep saying that they'll do something and nothing comes of it. And on the other, you've got Richard, who he is working at stuff. He's got a Twitter set up. He's got everything like that. And whilst he's had to deal with stuff that's outside of his control, he's still working at it. So, and then you do have the fact that I, I got this email and I was sort of like, okay, well, I, this has come about. Oh, I was found out because of my other review, the last review I did. Well, that means something is happening. I'm getting somewhere. And this is your opportunity just really struck home for me. Overall, I'd give this EP a four out of five. It's great fun, but there's also a lot of room for potential being realised. And I want to hear that potential realised. Like, when a full album is dropped, let me know. Or when it's in the running to be dropped, let me know. Because I want to hear what you guys have in store. I, I, I am fully hyped for whatever you've got coming up next. But yeah, definitely check this out. That's it for this episode. This was a great opportunity.